Okay, my name is Michael Brennan, and this is going to be a keyboard replacement on a Lenovo ThinkPad X1. My model is the 1286, um, and this is going to be a keyboard replacement. Uh, notice that I accidentally spilled something on my keyboard. As a result, it got sticky, even though the computer is 100% <coughs> fluid proof. But I attempted to take the keys off and purchase individual keys, and when I did that, it broke. So Lenovo, the good company that they are, they were able to give me a new keyboard. <coughs> However, they didn't want to tell me how to fix it. So this video is to show you how to fix it and replace it. First thing you want to do is take the computer and turn it over. Okay. Now there will be. Let's do this here. There are two screws on the back of the Lenovo X1. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. <coughs> Mine's sticking out a little bit, but that's just because I, I put it in for all intensive purposes of showing you where they're located. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over to get the screws out. Okay, don't lose them, they're important. You don't want to use them again. Okay, so now I took the two screws out of the back. Now naturally, the keyboard is going to want to just kind of pry on it. Okay, see this? Now, if you have trouble, you can relieve the keyboard by the tabs that they have here. All right, But you want to be careful that you don't damage the laptop because this is a very... Uh, this is an interesting cover that can be destroyed if you do it uh, the wrong way. So here we go. Lift it up, pull it. Okay, we've got a couple of connections back. There. All right, and here's how we do this. Okay, just going to lift up the tabs. Okay, right here. Why don't we go ahead and use a tool? Okay, well, there's one. Okay, and then there's another one right here, right there. Lift up this one. Okay, there we go. All right, keyboard is out. Now they don't sell the individual keys for the keyboard on the Lenovo X1, so you're gonna have to get the entire keyboard replaced. All right. Now, actually, I have an old one. So if you need keys, email me, B-R-E-N-N-M-5. I could possibly help you out with that. Okay. So now I'm going to insert the connections the same way that I removed them. Okay. Here we go. Let's get you a better view. All right. There we go. We're in business. I'll lift this up a little bit. There we go. Good connection. And that's a good connection. You want to make sure the connections are 100%. And preferably, before you go ahead and you fasten the keyboard back down and insert the screws, turn it on and make sure that everything works. Okay? I'll do that right now. There we go. See, my keyboard lit up, so I know that there's 100% connection. So now I'm going to. Whoa, shoot! Don't do that. Definitely do not do that. Okay. That was a big mistake. That's how this all began. Do not let that happen. Okay. Connections, 100%. Okay. Make sure it's all in there. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to close the top. I'm going to turn it over. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put my screws back in. Alright, so you really don't need to see me do that. That's just going to be a waste of video. But if you have any questions regarding this repair, 
uh, email me brennm5 at Yahoo or post a comment on YouTube and uh, I'll try to help you out. Alright? Hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.